Hi, students let's start with the fifth part of biological classification in the previous video we see the all kingdom classification, now we start with kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia and also end the chapter with viruses, viroids, prions, and lichens. Now start with kingdom plantae. Kingdom plantae includes all plants. Mainly all of them are chlorophyll-containing organisms means they are autotrophic, but few of them are heterotrophic like a parasite and insectivorous plants. Bladderwort and Venus flytrap are some examples of insectivorous plants, and Cascuta is the parasite. The plant cell have have a eukaryotic structure with prominent chloroplast and cell wall. The large cell wall is mainly made up of cellulose. Plant includes 1. Algae 2. Bryophytes 3. Pteridophytes 4. Gymnosperms 5. Angiosperms Life cycle of plants has two distinct phases. 1. Diploid sporophytic 2. Haploid gametophytic Both phases are alternate with each other. The length of these two phases depends on they are free-living or dependent on others. It varies among different groups of plants. But the phenomenon is known as alternation of generation. We will more discuss this kingdom in chapter 3 so make sure you subscribe for more videos of the revision series. Now start the kingdom animalia. All heterotrophic eukaryotic organisms that are multicellular and their cells lack cell walls like animals present in the kingdom animalia. They directly depend upon the others for food. They digest their food in the internal cavity and store it in the form of glycogen or fat. Organisms in these kingdom has holozoic nutrition. Holozoic nutrition means inaction, digestion, ejaculation. These kingdoms follow a definite growth pattern that has a definite shape and size. Most of them are capable of locomotion, locomotion, the sexual reproduction is done by males and females by embryological development. Other features of phyla are described in chapter 4. Now start with various viroids, prions, and lichens. In the Five Kingdom systems R.H. Whitaker does not mention single-cell organisms like viruses, viroids, prions, and lichens. That we study here. Let us start from viruses, they are didn't find any place in classification since they are not considered as truly living. Viruses are non-cellular organisms characterized by having an inert crystalline structure outside the living cell. When viruses infect a cell then they start replicating means they start to grow in the host body and start killing the host. The name viruses was given by the Dmitry Ivanovsky in 1892. The name virus means venom or poisonous fluid. W.M. Sanley showed that viruses could be crystallized and crystals contains largely proteins. Virus are obligate parasites. Viruses also contain genetic material that could be either RNA or DNA. No viruses contain both RNA or DNA. The genetic material of the virus is infected. In viruses that infect plants have single-stranded RNA or double-stood DNA. In those viruses infected animals have single or double-stranded RNA or double-stranded DNA viruses. Viruses cause diseases like mumps, smallpox, herpes, and influenza. AIDS is also caused by viruses. Implant viruses can be detected by some symptoms like mosaic formation, leaf rolling, etc. Now we're starting with viroids. T.O.Diener discovered a new infectious agent that is similar to viruses called viroids and causes diseases like potato tuber. It was found to be free RNA, but it does not have protein coat that found in viruses, hence they get the name viroids. The RNA present in viroids is present are low molecular weight. Now start the prions. In modern medicine certain infections neurological diseases were found transmitted by an agent consisting of the abnormally folded protein. Agents that are similar in size to viruses are called prions. Some diseases caused by prions are bovine spongiform, mad cough, CR Jacob diseases in humans. Now stared with lichens. Lichens are found in symbiotic association between algae and fungi. The algae component are called as phycobiont and fungal components are known as mycobiont. The phycobiont are autotrophic and mycobiont are heterotrophic. The algae provide food for fungi and fungi provide shelter for algae, hence their association is known as symbiotic association. Lichens does not grow in polluted areas hence, 
they also know as good pollution indicators. Now the biological classification revision is in here, in next video we start the new chapter called Plant Kingdom, and also start the revision of Maharashtra board, so if you want to join our revision journey you must need to be like and subscribe and stay tuned. And bye students.